All right, so there it is. You notice the Marauder's got a new tag on it. It's hard to see it, but it's officially been traded. They're looking at the car that it was traded for. All right, so there it is, man. I, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't just uh, roll out of here without one more shot of the Marauder. New owner, Tyler, he's got plans for it. It's gonna go to a good home. He's gonna take care of it. He's gonna do it justice. He's always wanted a Marauder. I figured it was time to change this up and try, try my hands one more time with a Mopar. Uh, if you guys have been following my channel long enough, you know um, what my history with Mopar is. come to when the panther guy the crown vic guy gets a mopar well for those of you who have only known me for creating panther car content i wouldn't hold it against you if you were completely shocked or surprised that i would end up in something like this but for those of you who are long og fans of the channel i'm talking about from way back when i had like 500 subscribers then you guys know that me and dodge go way back All right, so let's 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 take it back a few steps let's take it back a few steps because i know a lot of people are not only shocked that i would trade my mercury marauder 2003 mercury marauder for a dodge magnum it kind of goes back to what i told tyler who is the new owner of the marauder you guys are gonna get, see a little snippet of what he's already doing to it not even 12 hours later after getting the car at the end of the video you guys are gonna get a little glimpse of to what he's already starting to do to the car but one thing i told tyler who is the one that traded me his uh dodge magnum for my marauder he said the marauder is his dream car and i kind of sat down with him and i said man listen at the end of the day is literally just a more optioned out crown victoria yes the marauder does have the infamous four valve mustang mach 1 engine under the hood but what a lot of people don't realize is that it only made 50 more horsepower than a stock crown vic not to mention the actual four valve itself the engine is a little bit heavier than the two valve that's on the crown vic and all the leather uh, seats and plush amenities and all that that add more weight to an already heavy platform literally leads to results like this stock for stock crown victoria p71 versus mercury marauder let's find out For those of you who haven't fully watched uh, that video, the too long didn't watch version of that video is essentially, I wanted to see what a stock Crown Victoria would do against a stock Mercury Marauder. Now, the only thing that my Crown Vic had at a time was wider wheels in the back, and it was fully, absolutely fully gutted. And it had a K&N drop-in filter that you can get from AutoZone. Now, although the Marauder did lose in the eighth mile against a stock P71 that had been fully gutted, at the end if you really pay attention the marauder actually was starting to creep up on the vic and on a quarter mile for sure the marauder would smoke a regular p71 i'd say it would beat it maybe by half a fender 
My point is, is that the Marauders have garnished a legendary mythical status amongst the Panther uh, platform community and it's well deserved. It is it's essentially the best version of our beloved Panther cars. Taking elements from the actual Police Interceptor, LX Sport Kronvik and Mercury's own uh, input in that car. But at the end of the day, and, and this is a part people don't realize unless they own a Marauder or unless they uh, ride in one, is that it is literally a Crown Victoria Period. It's just a Crown Vic with a Mach 1 engine. So before you completely destroy me in the comments section, which honestly I don't care. I've been doing this for many years. I'm used to it by now. But I want to tell you guys, but just look at my train of thought here. First, let's start with, you know, what, what everybody cares about, which it really, this was the last thing I cared about. But let's start with that. Okay. 5.7 liter. Had me under the hood, 340 horsepower, off the bat already faster than the Marauder, even in its current form. But that's not what sold me on this car. I wanted a practical daily driver, keyword, focus on practical. And this thing is more modern, it's more comfortable. I mean, just look at this thing. I got not my beautiful thing. And it's got a freaking sunroof. Look at the, look at the rear. We'll touch on the looks, but look at the interior. This is what I cared about. This is what sold me. Look at this. Look at all the room I got. And the seats aren't even all the way back. Look at this. Look at all the room. And, but wait, there's more. Damn, it's ironic. I'm wearing a Panther car hat <laughs> in a freaking Mopar. It's got AC in the back. It's got vents in the back for your family. These seats are so comfortable. I can literally probably lay across. But this part right here, this is what sold me the most on why I wanted this Magnum. And it is, look at the room on this hatch. You can fit an entire dog crate and still fit the entire family and then some in the back. But wait, there's more room. You pull this panel off right here. You slide that back, you pull this up. Look at how deep this goes. You can fit all your groceries in there and still have enough room for more crap in the back. You can even load this thing with lumber. The seats go forward. Come on, come on, it's a wagon. It's a station wagon. They're coming back, they're making a comeback. The Magnum has always been cool. And then we'll focus on the co cosmetic stuff, which also sold me on this car. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. For starters, the most noticeable thing is the stance on this car. This car is currently sitting on lowering springs <coughs> all the way around. It is sitting so pretty. It is sitting just so right. Speaking of sitting, it is sitting on a set of scat pack wheels all the way around. The camera does not pick up just how wide and meaty these tires are. I've been following Tyler for a while. I love his taste. He knows exactly what to do with a car. And that's why I know the Marauder is going to be in good hands. But we got the smoked out taillights. We got 5% tint all the way around. And he even uh, did the exhaust. Now the car does have uh, quite a bit of miles on it. It's currently at 171,000 miles. But I don't plan on beating on this car. I don't really plan on doing much craziness to this car unless you guys can convince me otherwise in the comment section down below. One of the things I do plan on doing is I am going to get a Mopar, a proper Mopar cold air intake. This thing's literally just got a shorty uh, air filter strapped to the end of the actual like uh, fresh air tube, which is just sucking in hot air. I'm going to upgrade the brakes on this thing. I'm going to get bigger rotors, calipers. Uh, you know, I'm just going to beef this thing up almost to the point of an SRT8. Speaking of SRT8, I'm getting an SRT8 hood. Not only that, these cars tend to have overheating issues. They love to heat soak. So that SRT8 hood is going to alleviate some of that issue. And since I'm at it, I'm going to throw in an SRT8 front bumper. And we're going to throw in some uh, black housing headlights. This thing has HIDs too. With all that being said, now what do you guys think was it a good trade would you have done the same thing a 2003 mercury marauder for a 2007 dodge magnum rt 5.7 liter hemi powered let me know comment section down below let me know if you guys have uh, any modifications that you'd like me to do to this car just keep in mind i want them to be tasteful i want the color to remain the same it's it's very clean and just simplified uh, look that the car has and i want to keep that all, the, all my Mopar guys out there, um, what do you recommend I do to the engine not only to improve its longevity and make this thing last as long as possible, 
but to maybe pick up a few extra horses along the way like i said the only thing i'm planning on doing is just a proper uh, mopar cold air intake is it can these cars be tuned or anything like that my srt it came with 420 horsepower i really didn't need that much more power so i didn't do much to it so let me know comment section down below first i want to know was it a good trade would you guys have done the same my my grabber blue mercury marauder the legend of panthers i already got like seven panther cars i experienced the marauder experience i still am a very firm believer that they are a legendary car they are mythical cars and they should be highly respected and regarded i still think that a crown Vic with a marty tune uh and a couple other things not only can beat one but if you really like to look with the marauder you can replicate it very easily as well and the second thing in the comment section down below besides yes was it's a good trade would you have done it is what else would you do to this car take a good look at it as it sits and uh, either way i guess look forward to more panther content and now mopar content either way man it's your boy mr random let me give you a little pov of what it's like getting in one of these bad boys man it's a gangster's car right here it's a gangster and you sit low too look at this look at how dark it is in here baby let's go all right man so i'm out of here at tyler's house i brought him some uh some springs and the front coils and all that for uh that were on the cobra vic that's all in perfectly good shape because as you guys know this uh marauder desperately needed some kind of suspension work he's already I mean, it's, it's not, it hasn't even been a couple hours and he's already getting to work. You see uh, the door handles are properly being painted. You see a little bit of tape here. There's already a couple things in the work, but I wanted to let you guys know. I wanted to end it on a note. All you people worried about, you know, the Marauder, it's in good hands. This man, I mean, I've been following his work for quite some time and every car he's ever touched, every Panther car he's ever touched always comes out looking super clean, looking super good. So this car right here is in some damn good hands he's gonna be getting a marty tune for it some gears man this thing's gonna be crazy you guys are probably gonna be seeing this car doing things that it wasn't doing even when i owned it so uh so we can end it on a good note that way you guys know the marauders in good hands and make sure you guys follow tyler all right tyler what's what's your instagram and i'll put it out here on the screen that boy bruno okay oh well yeah i got you on instagram so <laughs> it's gonna be right there if you guys want to follow the progress of the marauder and uh just like that man we're gonna end it so you guys can rest easy you guys can not lose sleep at night it's in good hands